Hello. Welcome to our video today on how to configure a Netgear Pro Safe 8 port VLAN switch for use with bonded internet. We've made a few assumptions here. One is that you have the VLAN switch connected to your computer and that you have installed the Pro Safe Plus configuration utility and that you are ready to connect to the VLAN switch. This is the screen that you should see, and you will select the VLAN switch and apply, click Apply. From there, we can move over to the tab VLAN, click on 802.1Q, and then Advanced, and enable the VLAN configuration. Accept that. Uh, from here, we are going to start to add the VLANs. Well, we enter in VLAN 2 at the bottom and click Apply. We are going to be configuring seven of the ports on our VLAN switch, ports one through seven. Port eight is going to be our trunked port. That trunked port will run all of the VLANs over to our bonder on its appropriate port. So after we have created VLAN ID through seven, we can then go to the membership. We'll start with uh, VLAN ID number two. Uh, we want to have this untagged on port two and tagged on port eight, and we will do this for all of the ports two through seven. I have found that if you try and configure port number one, at this point, it will, the system will error for you. So we are going to go through and configure ports two through seven. And then we will set up the port uh, PVIDs. And this will eliminate the error when we try to go back and, con and configure number one. Now we will configure the port PVIDs. We'll start here with number two. We change its port uh, to uh, ID number two, three to three, four to four, and so on. We can now go back to VLAN memberships. We can clear out the VLAN 1, select its port to untagged on 1, and tag to 8, apply. And we are now ready to go back and take a look at our configuration, which should look like this. And now your VLAN switch is ready for you to plug circuits into, or legs as we call them, and connect the port number 8 to your bonder. Uh, you're then free to go ahead and configure on the management server your bond uh, with its appropriate uh, VLANs and circuits, and you're ready to go.